I just mentioned Knoxville under an orange air quality alert today, meaning the air quality is expecting to be unhealthy for sensitive groups like children or those with lung or heart disease. Now, the higher air pollution uh, could trigger health problems for that group, but since many areas require face masks, how does wearing one actually affect you with the poor air quality? Well, WAT6 on your side reporter Kirsty Crawford finds out. Orange um, is now when we're starting to enter um, the areas of concern. So orange is still considered moderate. Level orange on the air quality index, meaning the average person may not notice a difference in air quality. But Christine Hart with the American Lung Association in Tennessee says for those with weaker lungs or hearts, breathing in the more polluted air could be bad. On bad air days, you have an increased, if you have asthma, you have an increased uh, risk for triggering an asthma attack. If you have heart disease, you have a risk, uh, increased risk of triggering a heart attack. Poor air quality days aren't new for Knoxville, but a day like today while wearing a mask is different. Hart says most of our masks won't help filter the air pollution. The molecules are too small. Larger particles like dust can be filtered out with a mask, um, but unless you have an industrial mask or a respirator made just for air pollution, generally the mask will not work for air pollution. Hart also saying wearing masks outside with poor air quality levels will not impact someone's ability to breathe. She says the only way to protect yourself from air pollution is limiting your time outside and not adding to already poor air quality. Rolling up your car windows so when you're driving make sure your your windows are closed, your vents are closed, uh, reducing your own pollution. So consider postponing mowing the yard today or using your grill or making unnecessary trips in your vehicle. Reporting in Knoxville, Kirsty Crawford, WATE 6 on your side. All right, Kirsty, thank you. TDOT also doing their part, reminding drivers now to spend less time on the roads due to the poor air quality. You're going to see those signs all along the highway.